This is the fourth episode of the Boxing Week Ahead, and this week we expected to bring you the fight of the year between Errol Spence and Manny Pacquiao. However, instead we've got Manny Pacquiao and your Demis Ugas. Uh, I'm Sam Beresford, and once again I'm joined by, this time, the injured Paul Kelly. Paul, how are you? I'm good, thanks. So. I'm good, bar my ankle, but we'll, we'll talk about that. <laughs> yeah, but we're still here anyway. Um, obviously, we were looking forward to and I think Paul and myself were both... Um, wrote this week down as probably the biggest preview that we've done so far. I know we only are four in, but I think we asterisk this one as the big one. Um, obviously, with Errol Spence having that torn retina, that's gone gone down the drain. But instead, we are here with the uh, Ugas and Pacquiao uh, preview. And in this preview, we're going to try and bring you everything you need to know about this fight in under 10 minutes. So that's a bit of a challenge for ourselves. I don't know. Usually we go on about half an hour or so. But in this one, we're trying to keep it short. This is the only fight of the week as well with no fights in the UK. So, um, yeah, let's see how we how we get on. Um, Paul, what do you know about uh, your Demis Ugas? If you had have asked me that question two years ago, I would have said nothing. But obviously, um, I remember his fight with Sean Porter, which was March 2019, I believe. And that was for the WBC title. I believe that was his first um, go at a, at a world title. And Porter ended up getting the decision, um, split decision it was. So then since then, he's obviously been on the radar because, you know, a world level fighter um, that's been on the ra- been on the radar. And then obviously um, recently won the WBA regular belt. Um, whatever you say about the WBA regular belt, whether we think it's worth a lot or not. You know, he's, he's, he can he can he can call himself a WBA world champion, I suppose. Um, and that's another thing I like about this fight because you've got Pacquiao, who's the, the supposed super champion. So it's the battle of the WBA champions. So there's one less belt, hopefully, that there's going to be um, in this division now, anyway. But yeah, I've I've he beat um, Abel Ramos last time out um, for the the vacant belt. Uh, I think he won. It was a close enough fight, but definitely did enough to win. And uh, we were chatting beforehand, and you, you said about watching a lot of his recent fights. And although he might not be the most powerful welterweight in the world, he does have good hand speed. Timing seems seems good. So I mean, I think it's a big a big ask. This is the toughest fight of his career, I would say, even though it is an aged Manny Pacquiao. Um, but I suppose we'll see on the night. He does have some good wins over Ray Robinson, Omar Figueroa, um, and Mike Dallas, was it? Mm. Uh, so he does have some good notable wins. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the fight. It's just a pity it, it's not the Spence one that you were mentioning there. Yeah, and as you said, I, I did go back and watch about up to that Sean Porter uh, split decision loss. And one thing I was quite impressed by um, Ugas was that he doesn't fight at range, even though he is quite a, a big welterweight he, he does like to fight on that short to mid range and for someone that doesn't have much power um especially compared to a lot of welterweights he's only got 12 knockouts in his 26 victories which the majority did come at the beginning of his career i think it's quite brave tactic to maybe fight at that kind of range and maybe that's what pacquiao will be looking at and looking for and that maybe is where pacquiao will take the advantage um obviously this is a a 42 year old manny pacquiao and we don't actually know how long he actually has left. And I think at this point, just being able to watch him one last time, if this is his last, will be a good spectacle. Um, what do you make of Manny Pacquiao as he is now at 42? Well, it's, it's been going to be 25 months, I believe, since his mm. last fight against Keith Thurman by the time he's getting in the ring this weekend. And at 42 years old, like I don't care who you are, Manny Pacquiao, obviously an all-time great, a Hall of Famer, but I don't really care who you are if you, Two years out of the ring at that age, it's like the equivalent of a someone in their prime being out for five years, if you ask me. Like it's it's a long time to be out, um, and when you're in the twilight of your career for hundred percent, I mean, it's Manny Pacquiao. At the end of the day, everyone wants to watch Manny Pacquiao. It's one of those things he could fight if if he was sixty, I would still watch him fight just because mm-hmm. it's Manny Pacquiao. Um, so in terms of the actual fight itself, I think it is interesting. I do think Manny Pacquiao, rightfully so, is the favourite going into the fight. I think you have to make him favourite if you are judging off the Thurman fight, because that's all you can really judge off, do you know what I mean, his, his last few performances um, in the ring. So the Thurman fight, he did win by split decision. And then before that was obviously the Adrian Broner fight, which he won um, probably a lot more handily than people thought he would. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's Manny Pacquiao at the end of the day, just even... Um, 
before we were looking at this, I, I did have a look down his record, you know, with 62 wins. And you think, you forget about how many good fighters he's beaten yeah. over the years. Believe it or not, he turned pro in 1995. So he's been a pro for 26 years now. That's it's got, This is going to be his 26th year as a professional. We weren't even born then. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of us were. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, so he's obviously got the wins over the likes of Barrera, Juan Manuel Marquez, Morales, Oscar De La Hoya, Hatton, Bradley, Cotto, Margarito, Mosley, all of those greats. Like when you name that, you just think it's unbelievable what a career he has. Um, so I do think Ugas is up against it, but Ugas himself, if this wasn't if he wasn't fighting Manny Pacquiao, you'd be thinking that he's quite old because he's 35. He's getting to the near the end of the career, but because he's fighting Manny Pacquiao, he's you know he's his younger by seven years. So I don't really know if you can um, put much into that. But then I've also you mentioned Ugas being quite a big welterweight, although not having power. He does, he seems to have about a three and a half, four inch mm. height advantage. Um, on Pacquiao, so wh- whether that's telling or not, um, could be very interesting. I'm just glad to see that the fight's on Sky Sports, um, yeah, and not and shut off. <laughs> and not, yeah, not as, we were, as you were saying before, imagine having to fork out seventy five dollars to watch the fight, and I'm glad, I'm glad we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, the only uh, downside is is probably going to be about a four or five a.m. ring walk in the UK, which is which is the downside and why they can't charge those kind of prices as well. Um, uh, with Pacquiao being out for nearly two years, I actually kind of think that's probably a good thing in a weird kind of way. I think at that age, you are going to pick up a few injuries and maybe we will see a fresher Manny Pacquiao, even though he is 42. Like It, it sounds a bit strange to, to think about, but I actually don't mind him having a long time out of the ring, um, yeah, especially me. Mean. Maybe for the er- Errol Spence fight two years out, it's going to be a big deal and because you are fighting one of the best welterweights in the world. But... Coming up against Ugas, I know he is will cause problems, and uh, I wouldn't be shocked if he picked up the a decision win. Um, I do quite like that he has had that time out of the ring to kind of recharge and kind of get back to hopefully full fitness. Um, I think another interesting aspect to this fight is Pacquiao kind of needs a win in in the Philippines. I think he's running for president of the Philippines in later this year and and in twenty twenty two, and I think. Going into that with a win at 42 actually does kind of add quite a cool storyline to to that aspect of his political career. And I think if we do see it, I think whether we see a big win or a big loss, I do think we, this might be the end of Manny Pacquiao. I think if there's a, a kind of like a split decision win, I don't think he wants to end it on that. But I do think if he gets the, the shutout victory or a big knockout win, it will end on that high. Or if he gets completely outpointed and a shutout against Ugas, I do think we'll see him back in the ring again. Um, do you think this is the last we've seen of Pacquiao? It's hard to say. There, obviously, it depends on the um, how the fight goes. But I, I do think we'll see him again. Sure, there was something going about um, Twitter and stuff saying that he would still like to fight in the UK. I keep seeing different stories. Like one will come out and say this is his last fight he's done, and then the next one goes, "Oh yeah, I want to fight in the UK." So. Who knows I'm just believe at this point. I know I said to you before, and you know I don't. I'm not here to accuse anybody, <laughs> but you know at, at 42 years old, I kind of. How do you throw in his last fight against Thurman? Something along the lines of he threw more punches per round than he has done, or in nearly any fight. Um, and he's been boxing pro since what he was 17 or 18. Mm. Come on, come on. Yeah, <laughs> how is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just saying what people are thinking. I'm not. You uh, know, I, I love Manny Pacquiao, and he's an all-time great. But I don't know. It depends. Oh, so I, I I'm got great just... genetics. That's all I think. I don't. <laughs> I'm not saying a thing. <laughs> well, no, you could be right. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, um, so quickly, we've only got probably a minute left here. If we want to stay under the ten minutes we set ourselves, and just a quick overview of this fight and a quick kind of conclusion to the fight. I do think Ugas is a better fighter than people are going to give him credit for. He's ranked number five by Ring Magazine's Walter Waits. He is the WBA, if we, if anyone cares about the WBA, he is the WBA champion. And I don't think we would be shocked if he comes away with the the uh, a split decision win, I think, or a unanimous decision win. He is that awkward style. He, does, he doesn't he does have power, but he, he is quite awkward as well. Um, what What's your final conclusion for this, for this fight? Yeah, I think he definitely has the tools. Um, he has all the ingredients to be able to beat Manny Pacquiao. It's just a matter of, it's a matter of whether he brings it all together on the night. And if he does it, 
Okay, and he, he might be like might be like a rabbit in the headlights against um someone like Manny Pacquiao as soon as you step into the ring. Um, and you see Manny Pacquiao walking towards the ring to face you, you know, that's a different kettle of fish. You might be like, oh dear, um, mm. this isn't what I signed up for. But you never know, it can be worked the opposite way around. And we, we, as you said, Sunday morning, wake up, find out that um, Ugas has got the victory, wouldn't be shocked. Yeah, and what a great opportunity for him as well, stepping up from, from the co-main event slot to that main event slot. And it is the biggest fight of his career, no doubt about that. So there we go. I think we have wrapped up just about in under 10 minutes. That was everything you do need to know about this upcoming fight between Yudemis Ugas and Manny Pacquiao. Thanks again, Paul, for, for being here. Um, I think we'll be back next week. I'm not sure what cards are here are, are on, but we will be back on the on the boxing week ahead. Uh, make make sure to check out esbrboxing.com. There's loads of written previews and, and big build up to this fight as well and across all our social media platforms. Um, again, like I say every week, please please like and subscribe. Um, these will be a weekly occurrence and uh, we'd love to have you keep watching. Um, give us your thoughts on the fight. What do you think will happen? Do you think this is Manny Pacquiao's last fight? Uh, thanks again, Paul, and we'll see you guys later. Cheers, Sam.